to The Corporate Sister TV. I'm Solange Lopes and I'm the founder of The Corporate Sister website and brand. In this video, I'm discussing three business principles to run our careers as efficiently and effectively as possible. As busy working women and mothers in between taking care of our families, taking care of the household, answering every text messages, keeping somewhat of an organized calendar together, there's hardly any time left for strategizing anything, let alone strategizing our careers. However, it is very much needed. Without a solid strategy in place for our work, we're left running left and right, trying to pull together the different pieces of our life and not having enough time, energy, and resources to dedicate to the work that we do. And in turn, we're left feeling demoralized, discouraged, unfulfilled as we spend most of our time at work. And that's the reality for many, if not most of us. So how can we go about doing a little bit more strategizing without an extreme amount of effort or an extreme investment of time, energy, and resources in our careers? Well, we can simply get inspired by the thriving businesses around us and apply some of the same principles principles they apply to their operations in order to be and to continue to be successful. One of these principles is to have a strong and solid vision for our career. When was the last time you asked yourself about your vision for your career? Very often we tend to kind of coast along uh, and go along the different stages of our career, the different stages of our advancement or the lack thereof without really questioning the vision and the plan we have for our careers. It becomes then so important to periodically stop and ask ourselves one, what the vision is for our career and two if that vision is still aligned with the season of our lives that we are into and with the context that we're living in in between our families our relationships our uh, duties and and commitments and all of the other things that take place and take some room in our lives the second business principle that I would bring to your attention is that of controlling or monitoring our progress in our careers. And that goes beyond our periodic performance reviews or check-ins with our teams or our managers. This is more of an introspective, more holistic uh, monitoring process that requires us to check in with ourselves periodically uh, and ask ourselves whether or not we are on track with the plan that we have for our career and our life in general or whether you know we've veered off our plan and we're onto a totally different trajectory and we need to adjust accordingly this is something that very few of us uh, have the time or take the time to do because we get so swallowed up into all of the other duties, commitments, obligations that come our way, or we just go coasting along the regular quote unquote pro progress of our career without stopping to wonder whether that is still aligned with the original plan we had, or if the plan had changed, um, whether we're still on track with the new trajectory, with the new idea, the new vision we have for our career. And last but not least, the third business principle I'd like to bring to your attention is that of empowering ourselves to make optimal decisions for our careers. As working women and moms, very unfortunately, we're often a reflection of what our external environment wants us to do. We're often a reflection of what society thinks we should be doing, what our organizations and institutions think uh, we should be doing, and that's kind of how 
how we get in the habit of managing our careers. And that prevents us from making the optimal, the best decisions for our career. And it also strips us uh, of the power to um, come and make these decisions and to really decide what fits us best, what is best for us, and by extension, what is best for our families, for our environments, and our communities. In this sense, empowering ourselves to make the optimal decisions for our careers by trusting ourselves and, and considering not just the organizations, the institutions, and the society we're in, but our our own environment, our own vision and plans, our own skills, talents and abilities, our own passions and interests in order to make the best decisions for us. And when we make the best decisions for us, we're also making the best decisions for our families, our communities and our environment at large. So these are the three principles that I wanted to bring to your attention when it comes to strategizing more in our careers and inspiring ourselves of thriving businesses around us in order to run our careers as effectively and efficiently as possible. As a quick recap, we just chatted about having a solid plan and vision for our careers and taking the time to periodically revisit it. Um, as a second business principle, we chatted about regularly monitoring the progress of our careers by going beyond just the superficial uh, performance reviews, but checking in and going into a deeper process of self-introspection. And last but not least, the third business principle outlined the need for us to empower ourselves to make optimal decisions for our careers. I hope this helped you to start or to continue um, this process of strategizing more in your work and by extension in your lives. Please let us know your thoughts, your insights, comments, and experiences by emailing us at corporate at the corporate sister.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.